Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Abeshi, on how we can get an outline around our dielectric material. So to illustrate this, I have a very simple scene set up here with the dielectric material applied to the sphere. So let's go ahead and render this out to see what we're working with right now. So this is what our dielectric material is looking like here. Now, in order to get a nice outline around this object, uh, normally what we could do would be to actually set up a sampler info node using the facing ratio attribute plugging into a ramp. Uh, but that can cause some issues if we do that directly on our dielectric material. But we can actually still use that on a layered shader. So uh, I'm going to save this so that way we can come back and compare later on. And let's take a look at how we can hook that up. So to begin with, I'm going to have to come in and create a layered shader. So I'll go to Create Materials and Create My Layered Shader. Now if I try to plug my dielectric material directly into this, middle click and drag, uh, we can see it's not going to work. So what we're going to have to do is to actually plug our dielectric material into a Maya shader and then plug that Maya shader into the layered shader. Now usually I prefer to use something like a surface shader for this because it doesn't apply any extra uh, shading or anything like that, any extra reflections or anything like that to our final outcome. So I'll pull in my surface shader here and then just middle click and drag my dielectric material onto that. I'm going to plug in my out value from the dielectric material into the out color of the surface shader. Another way we could have done that would be to simply uh, select our surface shader and middle click and drag our dielectric material and plug that in through the attribute editor here. Uh, multiple ways we can get to the same result there. So once we have that connected, let's go ahead with our layered shader and then middle click and drag our surface shader onto the layered shader. So now I can get rid of that, uh, plug in my layered shader onto my sphere here. And we can see that uh, basically we're getting the exact same result as before. So we went through all that work to get the exact same result. Uh, but the benefit to this now is that since we have a layered shader hooked up, we can set up multiple shaders on top of this. Okay, so I'm going to come in, uh, create something like a Lambert, and let's hook up our outline. Okay, uh, so I'll need a material for this. So I'll use my Lambert. I'll need a ramp node. So I'll come into my 2D textures, create a ramp. And I'll also need a sampler info node. So I'll come to create, be under my, oops, I accidentally closed that, go under uh, general utilities, and it'll be right here, the sampler info node. So I'll pull that in. Now I'll middle click and drag my sampler info, plug that into my ramp. It'll be my, and then go to other, plug in my facing ratio into the V coordinates of my ramp. Okay, so once I have that applied, I can go ahead, I'm just going to apply this to the color here of my Lambert. And let's apply our Lambert to the sphere so we can see uh, what this looks like when we render this out. So we can see the result that we're getting uh, is basically we're getting this blue color in the middle, the green and then the red right on the edges there. Now the reason why we're getting those colors is those are just the default colors when we create our ramp node. So we could come in and adjust these to whatever we want. Uh, say we wanted something like a maybe a nice orange color at the bottom and a nice white color at the top. And we could see how that's going to be uh, affected in our renders. But we're going to run into an issue here. If we were to take this ramp and plug this into the transparency. Uh, because uh, we say we want this center part to be transparent so that we only have the edge and then in the center we'll have our dielectric material. So what I did was I went ahead and plugged the ramp into the transparency here of my Lambert. We can see the result that we're getting, I'm getting some kind of strange coloring in here. Now the reason for that is because the transparency is looking for a black and white map and what we fed it was this ramp that's in orange and white so it's not really a black and white map. 
So what we'll want to do, if we want to keep this separate so to where we can control the color as well as the transparency, what we can do is actually duplicate this. So I'll hit Control D. That would duplicate the ramp. And now we can use this and turn this into a black and white ramp. Okay, so uh, now in order to maintain the same position here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the 2D texture from my original ramp and just plug that into my new ramp here. And also take the same sampler info node. We can just plug that in to our, our new ramp here that we're going to be using for our transparency. Uh, so we had our facing ratio, plugging it into the V coordinates. So now we have the same connections from the sampler info and the place 2D texture for these two different ramps. Uh, but since one of them is a black and white ramp, we can use that as our transparency. And we can see we're getting a nice transparency here in the center. And we're getting the nice color around the edges here. Uh, so really now all that's left to do would be to plug in the dielectric material here in the center. So to do that, we'll come into our layered shader and we already have our dielectric material connected to our layered shader. So let's take this Lambert that we set up our ramps on and plug this into our layered shader. We'll actually move the dielectric material to the back. So we'll have our ramp here on the uh, front here, which will be on top, and then the dielectric material behind it. And it looks like I forgot to actually apply my layered shader because we still had our Lambert plugged into our sphere here for while we were testing. Uh, so I'll select my sphere, make sure that my layered shader is applied to it. And this is the result that we get. We're getting our nice dielectric material. So this was before with just the dielectric material. And this is after we're using the layered shader to apply this nice uh, orange ramp around the edge as an outline. Now if we wanted to adjust the size of this outline here, uh, we could do that using the black and white transparency ramp. Or we could adjust the color using the ramp that we have set up for the color. But that's just a quick look at how we can set up a dielectric material with a nice outline around it using a uh, facing ratio of our sampler info node plugged into our ramp as well as uh, going through a layered shader. Now if you want to learn some more about how to utilize some of the metal ray shaders within Maya, I'd recommend checking out the Metal Ray nodes in Maya course.